All right, so in the previous video, we introduced covalent compounds. And we mentioned that with covalent compounds, um, we have covalent bonds, right? So these molecules are formed through atoms interacting with shared electrons. To begin understanding this, let's introduce a new idea known as Lewis symbols. Okay, these are named after a famous organic chemist named G.N. Lewis, who um, was around kind of back in the, uh, in, the, in the earlier 1900s, and he came up with really, really clever ways of teaching molecules to students. And his idea was to represent valence electrons as dots. So a dot equals a valence electron. Okay, so if we have some generic atom, I'm gonna call it X here, okay? We know that we can have up to eight valence electrons, right? We, we learned that you can never go beyond eight valence electrons because valence electrons only exist in S and P orbitals, okay? So when we put valence electrons onto atoms, we put them on one at a time, starting on one side. So the first electron, the second electron, so this would be an atom with two valence electrons. This would be an atom with three valence electrons. Four valence electrons. Once we have reached all four sides, we put a fifth electron as a pair. Right, so, we now, so now here we have a pair of electrons. And we still have three unpaired electrons. Okay, so the sixth goes on another side. Seven and eight. Okay, so each side gets one electron before we start pairing things up. Okay, and as we've already kind of learned, having eight valence electrons, right, means that we end with P6, and this is a noble gas configuration. And this, we learned, is really, really stable. The other way to have a noble gas configuration is if our atom X had no valence electrons. If we have no valence electrons, that means we end with P6 in a previous shell. Okay, and this is why we create our stable ions like sodium or chloride. And we'll explore that here in just a second. All right, so let's just go through an exercise where we draw the Lewis symbols for all of our second row elements. Okay, so to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the periodic table. Okay, so let's start with lithium. Lithium is in the first column, meaning it has one valence electron. So lithium's Lewis symbol would be the element name, or element symbol, with one dot. This would be the Lewis symbol for lithium. Beryllium has two valence electrons, so we could write beryllium with two dots. Boron is in the third column, so it has three valence, Carbon has four valence, so we have four dots. Nitrogen has five dots. So now we formed a pair. Oxygen has six dots, I'm gonna move down here. So oxygen, we have one, two, three, four, five, six dots. So oxygen here has one, two unpaired electrons. Fluorine has seven valence electrons. So we end up only with one unpaired electron and three pairs. And finally, neon is in the eighth group where it's a noble gas. So neon has all eight electrons paired up. Okay, and this is a really stable electron configuration because we have eight valence electrons and they're all paired. We call this an octet. Octets are really stable. Okay, so, so let's go ahead and switch back to the other page here. Okay, so let's think about fluorine and chlorine, right? So we saw that fluorine had seven valence electrons represented by seven dots. So the reason that fluorine can readily become a negative one anion is that fluorine will readily accept another electron so that now we have all of the electrons paired up. 
So when we give fluorine an extra electron, we create an octet, and that octet is stable, so fluorine is stable as a negative one charge. The same thing goes with chlorine. Chlorine starts off with seven valence electrons. If we give it one more, that gives it a negative one charge, and this whole structure, right, all of this configuration is stable because chlorine has an octet. Sodium is in the first group. So sodium starts off with just a single valence electron. Okay, so we know that we can't give sodium seven electrons to create an octet. But if we were to remove this electron, then we would end up with sodium with no valence electrons with a plus one charge. And we know that this corresponds to the, the electron configuration of neon, which is a noble gas, which is an octet. So this gives sodium an octet in the shell below. Okay, so being able to do this, being able to, uh, to start with the Lewis symbols for any element is going to be the starting point for drawing the structures of more complex uh, molecular compounds.